you say, the only time I ever questioned my pursuit for you is whenever I found out who your father was. <laughs> I will always chase after you and make you priority after following you. God has blessed me with you in many ways. There is no one else on the planet that makes my heart as happy as you do. Every time I put my put a smile on your face, it puts a smile on my heart. I love you more than words can describe. I'm so happy to be able to take on this adventure with you. I'll never stop fighting for you. Wes. At least her words for Wes. Dear Wes, we made it. We're standing in front of the people we love, confirming our love for each other through the gift of marriage. When I was younger, I thought about the person I was married to. It never crossed my mind that the person would become my best friend. The day I met you, not only did I gain a future husband, but also a person that I would have a closer, deeper relationship with than anyone else. I have to admit, the day I met you, I wasn't looking for a husband. I came looking for free pizza. <laughs> and you and the guys were eating in my dad's class. When you came in the office the next day and asked me on the day again, I wasn't looking for a husband, just more for food. <laughs> we had our day. Then you took me out to the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night, to hide. It did cross my mind that it wasn't maybe the smartest move to be in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night, for the person I had just met. But as soon as you brought me home, not home, I knew we were special. From then, it stayed just as special. I love doing life with you. Now we get to do life together for the rest of our lives. I cannot wait. You have shown me what the love of Jesus looks like in human form. I know you will be by my side for the good and bad for the rest of our lives. I cannot wait. Stuff and well, with that, Elise West, since it is your intention to marry, I need you to join your hands and with your promises bind yourselves to each other as husband and wife. I have you all with me after me. I'm going to start with you, West. I, West Alexander. Take you, Catherine Elise, to be my wife. And I promise, before God and these witnesses, to be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. I, Catherine Lewis, take you, Weston Alabama, to be my husband. And I promise, before God and these witnesses, to be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want, in joy as in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. Elise, Weston, your love is not yours alone. It is God's love implanted within you, to which you have joyously responded. Now God will create out of this love a relationship with each other called Christian marriage. Marriage is more than your tender feelings for each other, which can ebb and flow with time and circumstance. Christian marriage is very holy, 
because it is primarily an act of God. By the will of God, you belong to each other until death will part you. You must, therefore, give highest respect and fidelity to your marriage vows given this day before Almighty God. Are there rings with which you will seal your covenant? The wedding ring is fashioned in a circle. Throughout the history of the Christian church, the circle has been the symbol of the eternity of God. As you give these rings and as you wear them, may they be to you a continuous reminder of the eternal nature of God's love and providence to support you in your life together and a continuous reminder of the love that you have pledged to one another this day. Let us pray. Bless, O Holy One, the exchanging of these rings. May Elise and Weston abide forever in your peace and continue in your favor. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Weston Alexander, this ring I give you as a sign of my constant faith and abiding love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This ring I give you as a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, look with favor upon the world you have made and redeemed, and especially upon Elise and Weston. Give them wisdom and devotion in their common life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will, and their spirits in your spirit, that they may grow in love and peace with you and each other all the days of their life. Give them the grace when they hurt each other to recognize and confess their fault and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love to this sinful and broken world, that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness, heal guilt, and joy conquer despair. Give them such fulfillment of their mutual love that they may reach out and concern for others. Give to them, if it is your will, the gift of children and the wisdom to bring them up to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Grant that all who have witnessed these vows today may find their lives strengthened, and that all who are married may depart with their own promises renewed. Enrich with your grace all husbands and wives, parents and children, that loving and supporting one another, they may serve those in need and be a sign of your kingdom. Grant that the bonds by which all your children are united to one another may be so transformed by your spirit that your peace and justice may fill the earth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Congregation, you enjoyed me in the prayer that the Lord Christ, our Savior, taught us to pray. Let us say boldly together, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. It's the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. For God, in the presence of this congregation, Elise and Weston have made their solemn vows to each other. They have confirmed their promises by the joining of hands and by the giving and the seeking of grace. Therefore, I proclaim that they are now husband and wife. Blessed be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. As God's will, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, patience, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, and crown all these things with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Now the grace of Christ attend you, the love of God surround you, the Holy Spirit keep you, that you may live in faith, abound in hope, and grow in love, both this day and forevermore. Amen. Bless you. <laughs> you may now kiss your breath. Yes. <laughs>
Yeah.